Hey guys, welcome to lesson 25. This is your uh, math helper for lesson 25, module 2. Um, today we're going to use just kind of some basic facts to um, to approximate our, our decimal quotients when we're doing two-digit divisors, okay? And um, this is kind of just building on what we started yesterday with uh, with having some, some decimal uh, dividends and um, coming up with, now with decimal quotients. And... Um, this is going to be a concept that's going to be uh, that's going to be really familiar to us because it's something that we've done, something that we worked on. So um, let's jump right in, and uh, I want us to take a look at a couple different problems. Uh, problem one, let's take a peek. Is uh, to thirty-nine and one tenth, and uh, let's divide that by seventeen. I'll make that there we go a little bit darker, um, so it's easier to see. So um, what we know about Dividing, if this were uh, just 39 divided by 17, if this is what we were dealing with over here, 39 divided by 17, well, what would we do? We would, um, we would round, and we would, uh, we would round and estimate, right? And uh, so that's all we're going to do over here. The same thing is we're just, just going to round and estimate, and we can, we can round 17 to uh, 20. And then, well, over here, I need to know um, if I'm just looking at my uh, 39, what could I round my 39 to? That would be uh, that would be easy for me to divide by 20, and um, so that's definitely going to be um, 40. And uh, I can use mental math on this one. I can just go 20, 40, and I can get two. Um, you could also, if you really, really needed to, you could um, rewrite that, simplify that as four divided by two. Anyways, and you would get an estimated quotient of two. So, so. Um, and, and if we think about that, does that make sense? Yeah, it does, right? 17 is probably going to be about about two 17s in 39 and 1 tenth, right? It's going to be about about two, right? Um, so uh, let's let's jump into uh, let's take a look at this then. If we're looking at three and 91 hundredths divided by 17, um, we uh, what can we what can we already just think about? Um, Actually, I should bring this. I'm going to bring this last one back up. Uh, let me bring it back up. Let me bring it back up here. Um, and so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write this one down actually below because they're they're relative, they're related terms. Uh, let's do um, three and ninety one hundredths um, divided by seventeen. And if I can, if I'm thinking about that in terms of I have my thirty nine one tenth up here, and now I have three and ninety one hundredths down here. Um, this is this is just smaller by by ten, right? Um, so I would I would estimate I would guess then that my quotient two is also going to be smaller by ten and I would just guess estimate as uh, two tenths but let's 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 double check this uh, let's take my seventeen and like we like we did up up top we're going to round that to twenty and um, three and ninety one hundredths well we can round that as well um, what could we what could we round that to that would be easy for us to divide by by twenty or by two. Um, and I know twos, and up like we did up here, will be four. So let's let's do a four. Instead of a forty, we're going to do a four, and we're doing that because this is close to four, um, and not forty because we're dealing with something that is ten times less. Um, so let's take a look at four divided by twenty. And and what we do is we think about this twenty in terms of well, that's going to be a two and a ten. We can decompose it down into two and a ten. And then now it's just kind of up to us to figure out which way you want to do it. You can either do uh, 4 divided by 2, and do that first, and then divide that by 10. You could do 4 divided by 10, and then divide that by 2. Um, so let's, let's do both of them. Um, 4 divided by 2, two 4 so will be 2, right? And then 2 divided by 10. Uh, and down here, I would have 4 divided by 10. Um, would be four tenths, right? And now I have to divide that by two. Two divided by ten. Well, I'm going to bump my decimal place over, right? That would also that would equal two tenths. And four tenths divided by two, or four divided by two, would be two tenths. So see, either way, we're getting the same the same estimated quotient. Um, so we can say that in thir in three and ninety one hundredths divided by seventeen, our estimated quotient is going to be about Two tenths. Now, what you have to ask yourself then is how I could see up here when I was doing this that I could just see that two of these is going to end up in here. I mean, that was pretty. That's pretty, uh, pretty easy to see to visualize. But it's harder to visualize when you get down here to say, well, seventeen two tenths is going to equal three or about four. But if you did, if you wanted to think about it, you could you could count by those two tenths. You could go two, four, six, eight. 
one, right? Two, four, six, eight, two, two, four, six, eight, three. And you could count up by your tenths, and you would probably get to be about four, wouldn't you? I, I mean, that would make some sense. And you can see how maybe once you're starting to add those two tenths up 17 times, that you would get to some number about three and 90 one hundredths, okay? So always ask yourself, does, does this answer, does it make sense within the context of this problem? Okay, let's continue on then. Um, let's do 63. And, oh, you know what? Sorry. Let's do this one as, as a word problem. Let's do this one as a word problem. Um, let's read this problem. 63 and 6 tenths pounds of rice were put in the 73 bags. About how many pounds of rice were in each bag? And if I thought about, you know, a pile of rice, so this is yellow rice, so this would be saffron rice. This is, uh, is going to be my pound of rice, and I'm going to have bags. Let's say I have uh, people lined up. Maybe we're, maybe we're, there's a place in the world where, we, uh, where we're helping them out, and there was some kind of national or uh, natural disaster, and the people need some food. And so we have a big pile of rice, and these people are all coming coming up saying, please, can I have some rice? And we're like, yes, and there's 73 of them, okay? So there's 73 of these people. Um, how can we go about, how can we go about um, thinking about this problem? Well, um, first off, ask yourself, if this is 63 and 6 tenths of a pound of rice, okay, um, would, would each person, is each person going to get a pound of rice? Um, is each person going to get more or less than a pound? And uh, if, you, if you're thinking about that, and I, do I have enough rice to put one pound in each bag? Um, and the answer is no, because I don't. If I, I, it would take me 73 pounds to put one pound in each bag, right? And I, I don't have 73 pounds. All I have is 63 and 6 tenths of a pound a bag, right? So it's definitely going to be less than one pound. So the, our quotient is going to be less than one, right? So if we just take this then and, uh, and let's set this problem up. Uh, and we're going to divide it by 73. And we were to go ahead and we were going to round. Um, we could round our 73. We'd take that down to a 70. And then I'm going to look over here, 63 and 6 tenths. And I'm thinking about my 7. And I wanted to round this into something that is familiar to me when it comes to 7. What do I know about 7 and 63? I, those, those numbers are, are relative to me. They relate. Uh, 63 divided by 7 is 9. And I know that, or 7 times 9 is 63. So I'm just going to go ahead and gonna keep this 63. I'm going to get rid of my 6 tenths. And I'm just going to say, well, let's just, let's just think about this in terms of 63 divided by 70. And then, once again, we're, we're left with two options. We can either go with, we can either go with um, 63 divided by 7 do that first and then divide by 10 or I can say to myself 63 divided by 10 and then divide that by 7 and um, either way you split it it's going to be the same so whatever is more comfortable for you I kind of like I almost like doing it first with the 63 divided by the 7 because that's just pretty solid 63 divided by 7 is 9 so then I get 9 divided by 10 and I know uh, if I take a whole number and I divide it by 10, I'm just moving the decimal place down, I'm just making it smaller by a tenth, so um, I know I'm just going to get 9 tenths. And if I'm over here, I do the same thing. My 63 becomes 6 and 3 tenths, and then I just divide that by 7, and I'm going to get the same thing, 9 tenths. So how many pounds of rice are in each bag? There are 9 tenths of a pound of rice in each bag right there awesome and this guy's happy I mean he's still got some he's still got problems he's still got to rebuild or whatever but still got problems but okay um, so let's take let's take this problem then and um, let's alter it let's make it let's make it a little bit different um, and I don't know how I can squeeze all this in probably just gonna I'm gonna get rid of something here I'll get rid of this guy this, this answer sentence, this answer statement, because I want to change. I want to change it. Let's say that um, we, uh, you know, the supply, the the, the um, man. Unfortunately, we're trying to help these people out, but the uh, the airplane that, that 
that usually comes is uh, is late, is running late. And so all we have now is we only have 6.36 pounds of rice for these 73 people. Um, they're not quite as happy now. And um, we only have 6 and 36 pounds, 36 hundredths of a pound. Um, so but it's okay. The, the, planes are, the planes are coming. The planes are coming back. Um, we'll, we'll make sure that you get first in line next time, buddy. So it's okay. Um, we have 6.36 pounds of rice. Just going to split up right now, and uh, we still have those those we still have those 73 people coming. So um, what do we do? We have to think in the same terms that we thought of up here. Uh, round and estimate 73, and uh, we're going to turn that into 70. And uh, my my 63, I still want to I still want to keep that 63 because that's something that I can do. I can round I can, I can divide seven into the 63 and make the nine. So I'm going to keep that 63. I'm just going to keep it as six and three tenths, right? And so then I need to do the same thing over here. Then I'm either going to do the six and three tenths divided by seven, and then divide that by ten, or I'm going to do the six and three tenths divided by 10 and then divide that by 7. But here's the thing. I, I've already done the math up here. I've already done this and I know that I'm already just altering it. I've just moved it over, moved the decimal over one place here. So I know that it's smaller and I know it's going to be smaller by a factor of 10. So what I could do is I could just say, you know what, I know that this 9 tenths is now going to become 9 hundredths of a pound and that's going to be my answer. Let's do the math, just to double check. Um, 6 and 3 tenths divided by 7, or I could think of this as 63 tenths divided by 7 would give me 9 tenths, right? 63 tenths divided by 7 would give me 9 tenths. And then I need to divide that by 10. Well, I'm just moving my decimal over. And so now I know I have that, which, yep. This right here, same thing, just moving my decimal over to get... 63 hundredths, and now I just need to divide my 63 hundredths by 7, and uh, 63 hundredths divided by 7 would give me 9 hundredths. So in this instance, each one of these four unfortunate people is going to get uh, a 9 nine hundredths of a pound of rice, which isn't going to go that far, um, but the airplane's on the way, and then they're going to be totally fine. Okay, awesome. Um, one more. I got one more for you. We're going to clear this out of the way. And uh, the last one we're going to do is 11 and 72 hundredths divided by um, 42. Round and estimate. That's what we're doing. Same thing we did before. We're not too concerned right now. We're not going to concern ourselves with the decimal place. Um, but, but we're going to keep it in mind as to what the heck's going on here. So 42, um, if we put that in, we will put that in as 40. And my uh, 11 and 72 hundredths, um, well, the 4, what can I do with my 4? I know 4 uh, would be close to, this is close This is close to 12. So um, I could go ahead and I could make that 12. But I want to think still in context of we have tenths and hundredths. So I'm thinking right now, I'm going to write this in, uh, in, in unit form just so that I can remember what it is I have. I have 12, but I'm going to say I have uh, tenths and hundredths. I have 12. What do I have? I have 1,200 hundredths, right? Okay. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to write that out then. I have 1,200 hundredths. Divided by 40. Does that make sense as to why I did that? This right here, this is going to be 12, and really it's 12 hundred hundredths. Okay. Um, anyways, just keep that in mind. So let's let's just shorten it to make it to make our life slightly easier here. 12 divided by 40, and um, well, you could do this, uh, split this out either as 4 and 10, and do whichever one you want to do first. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, I would do 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 divided by 10 would be 3 tenths. Um, originally, this was my 12 hundredths divided by 4t. Anyways, so we get down to 3 hundred, uh, sorry, 3 tenths. <coughs> and that is my that is my estimated quotient um, 
for, for this uh, 11 and 72 hundredths divided by 42. And uh, it does make sense that if I say to myself, well, I have 42 of these of 3 tenths, then it's going to be roughly around 12, right? And 4 times 3 is 12. And we're, yeah, that makes sense to me. That makes sense. So um, do, like we've, do like we've been doing. You know, you get something like this, uh, round and estimate. Okay, and when you get estimate, round and estimate, and when you get to, to this, you know, make sure it makes sense. Make sure your, your estimated quotient makes sense. So, you know, if you had gotten on this answer, if you had gotten three, would you say to yourself, well, well 42 times three, I know 40 times three would be 120, and that's not anywhere close, right? So just take, take a look at the reasonableness of your answer and, uh, and say, you know, yeah, it's about that. That does, that does make sense, okay? All right, you guys rock. Good luck. Post comments, questions, and uh, catch you later.